What up, Brother Jones here, man, and I got a little, a little rumor that's going around. It's a little leak, man. It's been on Twitter, man. It's a little leak. It's about the archetype build system. Now, this ain't 100% confirmed. It's a leak. But it's also funny because this is something I mentioned in a previous video about predictions about build. Now, I'm playing with a sharp shooting point for Y'all haven't seen much of this, this build because of my pure point for But this is probably, I'm probably going to make something like this in 2K20. I'm probably making something like this in 2K20. You got we got the Stroke Nation gear on. You know, it's in the all green. You feel me? All green, you get plus five when you shoot. And I already told y'all. That's how I go. That's how it's gonna go next year. But anyway, check this out. So apparently there is a leak on Twitter. A sub told me this. A sub told me this. I, and he sent me the link. I'm not gonna put it because it shows it was on um iPod Carter's uh channel or stream or something, so and he's it's not up anymore. So he showed me a clip of some NBA 2K League people talking about builds. Or some some insider person talking about builds. Now what they said, this is remember, this is a rumor. It it might be true, it sounds like it's true, it sounds realistic based on my career builder. And basically what they've been talking about, how there's not really arcs, it sounds like this can be legit. So this is what the thing was. They said it's gonna be like 16. If, you, if any of you play 2K16, you get all the same stuff. I'm gonna show it on the screen. Now, if you look at this, bro, it's basically like you can get jump shooting, inside score, athlete, playmaker, rebounder, and defender, and you can max it out depending on where you wanna go. Well, it appears this year it's gonna be something like this, probably more categories, and the fact that you probably won't be able to fill all the categories up, but it's gonna give you a set amount of we all gonna get the set amount of attributes we can use. And we can all, based on what we do, is what archetype we're gonna get. So if we put most of it on shooting and dunking, then we'll be sharp shooting slashers. If you put it on all play playmaking, three point ball, lows, inside scoring, you're gonna be like a play sharp type play. You're just gonna be a dribble that can shoot. So this is kind of basically giving you an inside as in what the rumor of this is supposed to be. If you put in all D and all three, I hope the guy you don't, hey, that might be OP lineup, bro. If you put all D and all three in low inside, you might literally be a three and D, like an elite three and D shooter to the point where you might be able to lock everything down. Like, and green limitless range. I don't know how they gonna do that. I don't, I'm not sure how, but that's the rumor right now. This is a rumor. This is not, it's a rumor leak. Now, it could, now when we get the demo in 12 days, it could show, and then you'd be like, hey, you know what? Hey, that leak was right. Because a lot, a lot of these leaks been right so far. A lot of these leaks were legit. You know what I'm saying? If you remember the leak that was on Twitter showing the, what the park gonna look like, all those people that posted it got copyrighted by 2K. And everybody was crying, ah, that's fake. That ain't real. That's fake. And then 2K like, oh, you, you leaking our stuff? Here comes this copyright. And they got hit with copyright tweets. So, apparently those were, if that wasn't the real part, those were like real animations. And the part that we saw look in on Twitter, I know a lot of y'all saw, some of y'all didn't. But basically it was a part that looked just like 2K19, but the load-in thing was different, the, the player cards were different. This, the menu was different, so people called it fake, but if it was fake, people wouldn't have got banned. So this is coming from a 2K League people. They already played the game, you know, they got a little more insight than we do because they, they work for 2K. Literally, they got, they're like more inside the system, so a lot of them got ears to the, you know what I'm saying, ears to the devs and talk to them and might get a little hint here or there or might see something or someone might leak something, an employee. So... You take the, you take stuff like this, you, I mean, it might be real. It's probably, I believe it, I believe it, I could see this, because I said this. Based on what we, what we do, it's a my career builder. It's not an archetype system, it's a builder. We're building something, aka, we choose our categories. That makes the most sense, does it not? When you build something, you're making something from scratch. So, let's say we all get 80 upgrades, and we have to, separate them all based on what we want to do you know i thought if you want to like what i'm gonna do i might do just play making three a little inside and the rest on defense it'll probably give me playmaking and sharpshooter takeover 
So, because TakeOver's still in the game. So this is what I'm assuming is going to happen with this leak. It makes things very interesting, man. You know what I'm saying? We real hype. I mean, we I'm hyped for this game, bro. I'm hyped for 2K20, man. It's less than, less than two weeks. Less than two weeks. And then the full game... Y'all know when full game come out, y'all, everybody who ain't got school, I know y'all staying up all night that Friday. All y'all gonna try to stay up all night and grind the game. Y'all gonna be stinking. All that, you don't care because you're trying to get high rep and you're spamming the game. Because we all tired of 2K19. I don't even play 2K19 like that, bro. I play, I been playing Madden. Y'all want to see Madden gameplay, let me know. Or stream Madden, let me know. I be playing Madden all the time. Because Madden is my thing, you feel me? But... If these rumors are true, what build are y'all gonna make, man? What build are y'all gonna do? I feel like if I gave a prediction what build's gonna be nice based off of that, I think the three D locks gonna be nasty, man. If that's if you can make if you can max your D out and your three ball, and your three ball maxed out at like an 85, 80 something starting off, and then you got an 80 high 80 defense too. You know how OP that is? Like, you will be able to guard everyone and then be a spotter for a dribbler or a play shark. And if you make him a center, it'll be even harder. I don't know if this is going to be real. I don't know, man. It just opens your eyes up. It's one of them things where you hear it and you just start thinking and start thinking like, hey, man, what? If that's the case, what, what would I do? You feel me? Like? And that, if this is the real case, what are y'all doing with y'all bills, man? What are y'all going to make? I want to see what... I'm gonna see in the comments what y'all gonna make off this. Uh, makes things real interesting, man. Makes things real interesting. Man, I don't know. By the way, I'm probably gonna stay on PS4, my boys. I mean, I don't, I, I mean, I'm like 90%, I'm like 80% sure I'm on PS4, man. The reason I, you know, they, I think they uptight their security a little bit. So I'm thinking I might go ahead and stay on PS4. I feel like if I do, I'm still gonna play a lot of Xbox, man. I'm gonna have an account ready. I'm gonna have someone grind. I'm gonna have a grinded Xbox account so I can hop on at any time and run with y'all whenever. I'm gonna try to keep them up in the same overall. Hope based on the fact that we got park badges, I'm gonna assume we got some kind of park rep. We're gonna learn about that stuff very soon. I know they're gonna eventually tell us all that stuff about it. We ain't heard nothing yet, but I know it's coming soon. It's coming soon. They'll let us know what we gotta do etc or what bills and uh my career because my ronnie talking about how he's looking forward to my career you know what i'm saying i heard people mention what if my career is co-op i don't even know if i like that if would y'all like if my career was co-op i don't even think that'd be good because then i think people would be selfish and not really help each other with their bills you feel me or it could work out maybe you know what i'm saying if you a glass and then you got a shooter doing co-op my career then it might work, you know what I'm saying? They also announced WNBA gonna be in 2K20, you know? That's cool. You know, y'all y'all seen that coming from the other trailer. But that's something to look out for too, you know? Shout out to the WNBA player for making it in there. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I might include a little clip about some badges Mike Wayne talked about, man. To the next video, I'll see y'all then, man. Piece. The passing lanes. Now, with all the new badges, y'all know the bad tutorial is gonna be crazy. So y'all better sub right now if you new. I'm gonna have all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a whole bunch of bad tutorials when this game come out. I'm gonna help y'all out the best way I can. I'm gonna find out how to get these badges, and I'm gonna do them because I'm always a good badge grinder, man. I always get all my badges pretty quick. Another thing, they they added volume shooter back. So now that. A lot of people gonna be like, oh no, nah, not volume shooter. Now, don't tell me they added volume shooter back. But yes, they added volume shooter back. Now he said volume shooter is a positive only badge this year though. He said it's a positive only badge as in it doesn't take away your stats and doesn't make you cold. If you can keep up, it just makes you better overall. So that's all volume shooter does. It's supposed to just to help you out. It's basically just to help you out. Now the next badge I'm going to talk about is Quick First Step. Now this badge he said is like a, is literally like a dribbling badge. Now they, we have multiple dribbling badges. I'll, I'll show you another one later. But apparently this one is to help us take off fast. So it's almost like we have a speed boosting badge. I don't know how I feel about that. Because y'all know I'm making a dribble this year. So, I mean, y'all know 
I'm gonna get that mug and hey, if I can get a Hall of Fame quick first step, y'all know I'm gonna be gone, man. I'm gonna be zoom, you feel me? Now they ask his fade ace back. Mike Wayne's like, yeah, we have a deep fade bass that helps you hit post from further out. Now that that's a that I don't know. They might gonna have to nerf that. Deep fade bats, I mean it's cool for the Kobe's and the shot creators. That's cool for shot creators. But the thing that's gonna be that's not that's gonna be not too great is post scores can sh like hit deep, deep fades, which they might, I don't know, but I think post scores gonna end up getting a little nerf. But if they can hit that far away fade like that, that's gonna be a little toxic. I mean, that's hopefully that's just like a guard bonus badge, like for guards to, that have an off dribble. You know what I'm saying? Now here's another one. He said, "Here's you, Agent Beam Star. They have a badge called Giant Slayer, and smaller players can equip Giant Slayer, and it will help them score at the rim amongst the trees. I guess it's catered to guards that are little, like six four guards or." I guess anybody that's short, like six, seven, or seven foot. I mean, anybody that's shorter, I guess it caters.